My name is Neil Peterson. I'm the Chief Credit Officer at General Electric Credit Union. Are all store credit cards bad? No. Each store can provide a particular benefit to the appropriate consumer. And one of the main benefits that you'll get is you get a discount when you go to open the account if you're at checkout. If you wanna make a large purchase, then you can get a discount sometimes of 10, 15, 20%. And it makes sense on a large purchase to activate your store credit card, get that discount, and you save money. If you can pay that balance off when you get the statement, then you've definitely come out ahead and it's definitely derived a benefit for that individual. Some of the things to look for as far as red flags for store credit cards would be the interest rate. If you open an account at a store, uh, you're going to find that the store credit cards generally have much higher interest rates than you're going to get on a regular credit card. If you can't pay that balance in full, you may save a little bit on the purchase, but you may end up paying a lot more interest over the life of that credit card. Uh, another issue would be the rewards. Uh, if you get rewards, it may take you a long time to build any benefit from that. So it may encourage you to spend more money at that retailer you may not other, otherwise spend and ultimately can come back and cost you more money in the long run. As far as whether I should close my store credit cards, that's a good question that a lot of people will ask. And there's certain things to consider. The first one is the individual that has that credit card. How do they utilize it? Can they manage that credit card effectively? Regardless of any other benefits or cons from doing that, if you can't manage your credit card and it's gonna lead you to spend more money, it's probably better off to close that credit card if it's gonna be something to get you in trouble later on. How does opening a new store card affect your credit score? If you open one new account, and you have a well-established credit history, that impact will be very minimal. If you have lower credit history or smaller credit history, then one new account can have a greater impact. If you open several accounts at the same time, then that actually can have a greater impact even if you have a well-established credit history. If you open a lot of accounts in a short period of time, it's a sign that maybe you're possibly gonna get yourself into trouble and have trouble managing your debts. So that has a great impact on your credit score. Should you be using all of your credit cards? We would recommend that you maintain two primary credit cards. Even if you have store credit cards, whether you've decided you won't have one, two or three stores that provide benefit, I would recommend that you have two primary credit cards to use for everyday transactions. One is your, the one you're really going to use. With that one primary credit card, you're gonna be able to manage your transactions. You, a lot of credit cards out there now have rewards, so you can pick rewards that work for you, whether it be travel, whether it be merchandise, whether it be cash back. So you can pick a program that works for you. You can manage that all in one card. It just makes it much easier to manage your overall financial affairs. If you have store cards that you use in the meantime and they provide benefit, great. If you can pay them off each month, fantastic. If not, it's possible you can transfer them to that primary card, again, to make managing the cards a lot easier. One thing about managing on one card and having everything there is, again, the rewards accumulate much more quickly. If you have five stores, you may purchase the, the five, and instead of getting some partial rewards that you may not get any value out of, you get the rewards on that one card. And also by managing it on one card, it makes it easier to just overall manage your financial affairs, make sure what your, your utilization is. You don't get surprised at the end of the month that you have five cards out there and a thousand dollars in each, it's easier to see what your usage is and, and manage those. One thing about managing your cards and having one card to manage it, I, was, I would recommend with your financial institution that you sign up for their online banking. It is so critical to keep track of your credit card and the spending and make sure that there's no fraud on that account. You sign up for online banking, you can do it at your computer, you can do it at your mobile phone, you can set up where you can see your statement, you can see your activity at any time. You can go in there and get alerts set up so if someone uses your card, you get notified immediately. If there's fraud, it helps you identify that. You can go in there and have statements sent to you, payment reminders, and you can actually make payments online. So if you go in there and you wanna make a payment and you're traveling, no problem, it makes it very simple. You can see your statements, you can do that without any issue whatsoever. If you lose your wallet, you can go on there and you can even block your card online. So if you go out on Sunday night at 10 o'clock, you get home and you realize, oh, I can't find my card, you can block your card, 
10 minutes later, you find your card, just go and unblock it, and it just makes it a lot easier to manage your account and, and control your expenses. A balance transfer can help you in many ways, and the first is probably the interest rate. If you have multiple cards out there, store cards especially, and they have extremely high interest rates, if you transfer it to one primary card with a much lower rate, then ultimately you're gonna save money because the interest is gonna be less. If you can pay it in full each month, fantastic. If you can't, the interest is gonna be lower, so you can still make the higher payments and pay it off more quickly, or just pay less interest as you go. To initiate a balance transfer, a lot of places you can go right online and actually initiate the transfer request. So you can go to our online banking platform and you can log in and you can initiate a transfer, a balance transfer to another institution. So it makes it very simple to move the balances from one card to another. There are many benefits to getting credit with the credit union. One, you have a local institution that is going to be there when you have questions. We have programs that work for businesses. We have programs that work for people that do a lot of international travel that so you don't have the interchange uh, fees so that we have a lot of benefits and the rewards program are second to none. Uh, we have online banking that allow you to manage that. You can redeem rewards online. You can manage the accounts online. So we've provided the technology along with having the great arsenal of products to really give you what you are looking for. We provide you the tools to manage that effectively, and it gives you the ability to manage your financial affairs.